Hi, this is Matt Demetrian of Televis Capital with the week in review for the week ending April 2nd of 2021. Stocks marched higher as the S&P 500 gained 1.1% and hit a new milestone crossing the 4,000 mark for the first time. The Dow was up marginally, while the NASDAQ Composite was the week's top performer, lifting 2.6%. Small caps also experienced gains, with the Russell 2000 up 1.5%. Growth stocks were the week's top performers, traditional growth sectors such as technology, consumer discretionary, and communication services also saw returns north of 2%. Cyclical stocks, including energy and materials, closed lower, despite the ISM Manufacturing Index for March showing considerable strength. An added economic reading from last week was the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index, which shot up to nearly a reading of 110 versus just 90 in February. The week started with a cautious tone after Archigo's capital management defaulted on its margin calls. This led brokers to close out positions with some, including Credit Suisse and Nomura, disclosing they would incur sizable losses. On Wednesday, President Biden unveiled a two and a quarter trillion dollar infrastructure plan, which includes corporate tax hikes to help finance the spending. In addition, the White House press secretary said the administration will look to seek an additional stimulus bill should it pass the upcoming infrastructure plan. In the bond market, the two-year Treasury yield jumped four basis points to a rate of 0.19%, while the 10-year Treasury yield was up just two basis points to 1.68% after having flirted with the yield as high as 1.78% intra-week. In other markets, the dollar appreciated by 0.2%, while gold was essentially flat. Oil was up just under 1% to close out at $61.24 a barrel. As you look ahead to the coming week, all eyes will be on the March economic indicators that will begin to be reported. That concludes the week in review for the week ending April 2nd of 2021. Thanks, stay safe, and enjoy your week.